Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Day Wooden Craft Shop. I'm your host, Justin. Today, we're going to be building a little single stick cigar boxes. This is just a prototype I threw together. Um, <clears throat> you can put, you know, whatever say, oh, I got it upside down. You can put whatever saying you want on it, the sides, you know. And I just use Padamo just to see because that's the type of cigar I have. There's a Padamo Habanero and it's a, ooh, sorry, and it's a Connecticut. All right, <clears throat> so, you know, you can put your cigar in your case. Put your lid on it. You got a little tote around, a little keepsake set on the mantle, whatever. Um, this is just made out of quarter inch underlayment plywood that I used my <clears throat> Atom Stack laser, which is behind y'all. I'll show y'all in a minute. Um, my Atom Stack A5 Pro to make it. So today we're going to make us a couple of them and just to play around. And then this is gonna be a part two video, uh, a two part video, excuse me, because we may try to engrave the cigar or etch the cigar or put a saying on the cigar, whichever way you wanna say it. Um, we'll find it out. So just hang on guys and let me get turned around, get you turned around. And um, well, first of all, before we do that, let me get my computer up. So basically we just need to take some measurements of the cigar. So I'm gonna kind of bend you like that so we can work this way. <sighs> yeah, I have just cheap old Harbor Freight metal calipers. Yeah, I know it's not the best to do cigars with, but that's what I have, so that's what we're gonna use. And if you're careful, you won't puncture the cigar. So basically we just get a length on the cigar. You can do it in millimeters or you can do it in inches. The software that I use is Lightburn and I can change it to millimeters or inches. So we're looking at Just say seven inches. Get you up here where you can see it. Just say seven inches. The box that I showed you guys, let me grab it again. The box that I made, just to throw it out there, is what did I make it as? I made it a little over seven and a quarter. Seven point three inches um but we are going to make it a little oversized wider this way and this way longer so your cigars can fit in there without having to push them down in there plus we're going to take in the new ones that we're doing we're going to take in uh excuse me <clears throat> we're going to take and put some fabric in it some just some regular cotton fabric and um, I got some glued up on some wood over here, I'll show you. So we're gonna see if the, excuse me, we're gonna see if the um, Adam Stacker cut the, the fabric without burning it on the wood. So you'll have a cutout that looks the same. And so with that being said, put that back down there. And like I said, guys, it's seven inches so we'll allow maybe an eighth over for the thick of the fabric. Or, you know, if you have a, um, you know, you can break it down to 30 seconds, 60 fourths, you know, however you wanna break it down. But like I said, just to give a little bit over and that way everybody can work in pretty much the same, um, type of stuff, you know, millimeters, of course, is a whole lot, you know, easier because you're just dealing with numbers. You're not dealing with, with a fraction and having to convert the fraction to a decimal. Um, 
but you can also, let me grab this guys. You can also download you a uh, fractions conversion sheet, print it off, keep it with you. And the one that I have, it, um, just for quick reference, without having to break out a calculator and calculate it, and you know, pencil and paper, um, it breaks it down into, this one is 64, 30 seconds, and actual uh, eighth inch, quarter inch, three eighths, uh, it does it all. And it does fractions, of course, you know, like fractions, decimals, and millimeters. So, you know, like the first one there, it's 164, then it goes down to 132nd. So, like I said, I have 64, 30 seconds, and actual 16th. So, we can break it out, like I said, without having to do a calculator and pencil and paper. It's just quick reference for anything that we need to do. So, like I said, it's seven inches. It's seven inches. You know, you can you can you can get technical and break it down to the tenths, thousands, hundreds, thousands, but seven inches. I'll flip it around. Seven inches, because it's seven point zero. So we'll break it down. We'll probably put it uh we may go a 16th oversize, just so we'll have um, enough room, you know, and uh, that way we can, you know, like I said, you're not crushing your cigar, you're not crushing it to put it in the length of it, and you're not crushing it to when you close the top. So, and I also did one uh, for a uh, anniversary gift this week to um for a couple that celebrated the 23rd anniversary friday which was february the 10th of this year 2023 and i'll include some pictures of that of of how it looked you know because i made them all did a box did a box plus um so we'll include pictures of that all right, guys. So let me get turned, get you turned around, get you facing at the computer screen, and we will get it started. All right, guys. We're back. Got you turned around, looking at the computer screen. The um, the website that I use is boxes.py. Boxes. Boxes. Pi. The actual website is www. I'll zoom you in where you can see it. That's the actual website there um so what we're going to do is we're going to go to boxes and you can do if you if you take your cursor and hold it over let me back you back out if you take your cursor and hold it over when you rotate when you roll over each box it'll show you how it looks So, but what we're going to do is we're going to do a universal box. <clears throat> All right, we're going to want straight edges, finger joint it, finger joint opposite sides as a, as a whole random list of things that can be done. So we're just going to say finger joint. Now, when you're working with this website, it's in millimeters. So, your X and Y is horizontal, vertical, and then your H is your height that you work off the, the bed of the table. All right, so let me get you set back. Sorry guys, I'm shooting with my iPhone. That's the only camera that I have at the moment. So <clears throat> I'm gonna kind of work behind the scenes <clears throat> on you. <clears throat> I 
and I measure, <clears throat> excuse me, and I measure the cigar in the plastic. So I will um, be able to put it back in the plastic, or put the put the excuse me, put the plastic wrap cigar in the box. That way you're not fighting just the plastic. And I'm looking at about. about 180 180 millimeters and then you can take it <clears throat> to that you can take it to you can add um, like I said if you got your conversion chart you're looking at it you can add your millimeters I said we'll take it out to about a sixteenth so a sixteenth of an inch in millimeters Instead of being 180, it's 181,587. I put a one in there. 587, there you go. So that's seven, seven, if you converted it out, that's seven inches and a sixteenth. So the, Seven. Oh, no, no. All right, one of them is how long we want it, the other is how wide. So your X and, your X and Y is gonna be the same. The width of a cigar, of the ones that I use, is 20, just say 20 and a half millimeters. So we're gonna say 21, because we're gonna add a 16th, five, eight. Five, eight, seven. All right, and then the height is gonna be the same way. 21.587. That's gonna be the outside of the box. And all of this down here, I'll leave the same, but I do change the thickness of my material in millimeters. So let me get a measurement on one of them real quick. I'll leave everything that way. You can generate it and you can look at, and you can see how it looks. So if that's what you want, that's what you got. So basically you have, and it just lays it out the top. You have a top hole, which it'll cut the hole out, but it'll leave wood for the top. That way, if you want to put it, a piece of plexiglass or just leave it or glue the whole box shut. You could do it that way. Um, So yeah, that's the way it'll look. So, and then down here, it tells you your millimeters to cut it. So it's a hundred millimeters kind of per minute. And you're gonna burn it at 0.10 of a millimeter. All right, so you can actually go back you can delete that and you can unclick the labels button where it says labels then you can generate it again and your labels are gone so that way you'll have everything you need so once you get it how you want it then you just download it and then the download as the universal box Then you can minus that, and we'll go into light burn. And here you are in light burn. And then the pieces of wood 
that I'm using. I picked them up at Hobby Lobby. And they're the, the wood pile. And they actually give you the dimensions on the label. It says it's an eight by 10. So we're going to draw us a square. Put in, now my light burn is working off of inches. So that would be our square. So we're gonna take it and turn it into a tool pattern. Then we're going to click on it, and you can drag it however, wherever you want to put it. But what I do too is I also make me a square that I can work off the bed of my table. That way I know about where I want to put the about where I want to put it. That way it'll center it, it'll do whatever. And um, we can rotate it, we can do whatever. So we're gonna say file, let's say import. We're gonna go to our downloads box and the universal box is what we want. I'm gonna say open. And now all of this we don't need. So like we don't need that one and we don't need that one, but we will keep the these because that's your, like I said, your top, your bottom, and your two sides, and your end pieces. So we can actually take those and see how they'll look on our tool pattern. So it looks like it's going to be over a little bit. We can rotate it 90 and we can put them on our tool pattern. And I just go through here. And kind of like group them all together. Then we can take and move this one if we need to, to save us some, some wood. We can space them out a little bit, whatever we need to do to make it look decent enough. So that's the way she'll look, guys. Um, so... Let me get um, set up, get it running, and we will get you back. All right, guys, we're back. Got you turned around, looking at the computer screen. The um, the website that I use is boxes.py, boxes, boxes.py. The actual website is www. I'll zoom you in where you can see it. That's the actual website there. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to boxes. And you can do, if you, if you take your cursor and hold it over. Let me back you back out. If you take your cursor and hold it over. When you rotate, when you roll over each box, it'll show you how it looks. So, but what we're going to do is we're going to do a universal box. <clears throat> All right, we're going to want straight edges, finger joint it, finger joint opposite sides as a, as a whole random list of things that 
can be done. So we're just gonna say finger joint. Now when you're working with this website, it's in millimeters. So your X and Y is horizontal, vertical, and then your H is your height that you work off the, the bed of the table. All right, so let me get you set back. Sorry guys, I'm shooting with my iPhone. That's the only camera that I have at the moment. So <clears throat> I'm gonna kind of work behind the scenes <clears throat> on you. And I measure, <clears throat> excuse me, and I measure the cigar in the plastic. So I will um, be able to put it back in the plastic. Or put the, put the, excuse me, put the plastic wrapped cigar in the box. That way you're not fighting just the plastic. And I'm looking at about... about 180 180 millimeters and then you can take it <clears throat> to that you can take it to you can add um, like I said if you got your conversion chart and you're looking at it you can add your millimeters I said we'll take it out to about a sixteenth so a sixteenth of an inch in millimeters Instead of being 180, it's 181,587. I put a one in there. 587, there you go. So that's seven, seven, if you converted it out, that's seven inches and a sixteenth. So the, Seven. Oh, no, no. All right, one of them is how long we want it, the other is how wide. So your X and, your X and Y is gonna be the same. The width of a cigar, of the ones that I use, is 20. Just say 20 and a half millimeters. So we're going to say 21 because we're going to add a 16th, 5, 8, five, eight 7. All right, and then the height is going to be the same way 21.587. That's going to be the outside of the box. And all of this down here, I'll leave the same, but I do change the thickness of my material in millimeters. So let me get a measurement on one of them real quick. We're looking at about three, so it was right. Uh, I'll leave everything that way. You can generate it and you can look at you can see how it looks so if that's what you want that's what you got so basically you have and it just lays it out the top you have a top hole which it'll cut the hole out but it'll leave wood for the top that way if you want to put it a piece of plexiglass or just leave it or glue the whole box shut you could do it that way um, So yeah, that's the way it'll look. So, and then down here, it tells you your millimeters to cut it. So it's a hundred millimeters kind of per minute. And you're gonna burn it at 0.10 of a millimeter. 
All right, so you can actually go back. You can delete that. And you can unclick the labels button where it says labels. Then you can generate it again and your labels are gone. So that way you'll have everything you need. So once you get it how you want it, then you just download it. And then the download as the universal box. So then you can minus that. And we'll go into Lightburn. And here you are in Lightburn. And then the pieces of wood that I'm using, I pick them up at Hobby Lobby. And then the, the wood pile, and they actually give you the dimensions on the label. It says it's an eight by 10. So we're going to draw us a square. Put in, now my light burn is working off of inches. So that would be our square. So we're gonna take it and turn it into a tool pattern. Then we're going to click on it and you can drag it however, wherever you want to put it. But what I do too is I also make me a square that I can work off the bed of my table. That way I know about where I want to put the, about where I want to put it. That way you just center it, it'll do whatever. And um, we can rotate it, we can do whatever. So we're going to say file, let's say import. We're going to go to our downloads box and the universal box is what we want. I'm going to say open. And now all of this we don't need. So like we don't need that one. And we don't need that one, but we will keep the these because that's your, like I said, your top, your bottom, and your two sides, and your end pieces. So we can actually take those and see how they'll look on our tool pattern. So it looks like it's going to be over a little bit. We can rotate it 90 and we can put them on our tool pattern. And I just go through here. And kind of like group them all together. Then we can take and move this one if we need to, to save us some, some wood. We can space them out a little bit, whatever we need to do to make it look decent enough. So that's the way she'll look, guys. Um, so, let me get um, set up, get it running, and we will get you back. All right, y'all, we're back. I got it set up. Uh, I'll show you a little later, but what I've done is the red is cotton fabric. And so basically I just glued it down uh, to the, where it'll be the bottom side of the it's just a wooden plaque. The width 
is T is the length. The length is 10 and the width is eight. And it's the wood pile, uh, pla wooden plaque to come in a set of three from Hobby Lobby is what I got. Uh, but like I said, I'll show you on the other one. So basically all I got it to do is these are, are you know, once it cuts it, I'll show you everything. But it's gonna cut it uh, for a box, like I showed you, you know, we put the cigar in. And um, once it comes out, cuts everything, then we'll stain it up, do what we need to do with it. And um, so let's get it cut and um, we'll get it put together. Well, uh, before we get it put together, I'll bring it back once it's cut. But yeah, that's his last initials of his name and these are some other ones that i'm making if brotherhood is humankind's oldest friendship have one on me and the one on me will be a cigar so we'll bring it back and show you the product once it's cut all right guys so basically that's the wood we were cutting the other day or cutting it just a few minutes ago, not the other day. I don't know why I said that. And I got it glued down to the wood with Mod Podge and laid the fabric over the top of it. Um, so let's get them all cut out and I'll bring you back and show you to put it together. All right, y'all. I got the pieces all cut out. We're going to stain them. We're going to use Verithane. Special walnut from Lowe's. <laughs> Show you the pieces cut out. All right, so let's get it stained up. I'm gonna give it a good shake. All right, y'all, let's see what she's gonna look like. And I'm just trying to keep the stain out of the inside of it. I'm gonna let the stain sit on there for a couple of seconds while we stain up the rest of them. See, we didn't cut that piece, that little piece out, but we'll get it. All right, y'all, put your lid back on when you're done. Ain't nothing like good old stain in the, in the floor. So now we're just taking kind of buff it all. Yeah, we got it cut out. Just took a razor blade and a little pick and picked it out. All right, so the way it's gonna go together, I know my workbench is dirty. I shouldn't have never laid this stuff down there. But you got your bottom piece. I'll connect with a side. I laid it right back down in there, didn't I, y'all? And I got it to where it's a tight fit, but it's still a push on, but it's, sorry y'all, but it's still a push on. It's a tight fit, but like I said, it's a, it's a push on fit. You know you got it when your gap closes. Like right here, I got a little bit. And you can take and rock it All right, 
then you want it to where, of course, you, of course you read it right to left. But if you put, you know, if you were to put this on like, like this, so of course, you know, it's gonna flip around to be where you can read it. And again, it's just a push on fit. You can glue it if you want to, but it's, I mean, it's fairly tight. You can glue it if you, if you so choose. Your end pieces, let me turn it around. Your end pieces will go on your ends. And if you do glue it, and you want the top removable, of course, don't glue the, the top part. So you would glue this joint, this joint, this joint, all of those joints, both sides. Then you would cut, then you would, of course, do that joint as well. And like I said, it's a pretty tight fit. So, but there's the box. Oh, we didn't stain up the top, y'all. So we just, you can use more if you want to, guys. But the top will lay just like this. Like I said, it's a push fit for your top. You wouldn't want to glue your top, but that would be your box. And I've fixed it where I have little end holes to where you can grab it and pull it off. But see how we got gaps here? You can take and just push your sides in. Just be careful because you got thin wood right there. Hey guys, we're back. We got the box put together. Got it stained up, got it cleared. Again, there's the top that goes on it. Back you up a little bit. All right, and the cigar. I go in just like so. Let me turn you around this way. Don't mind my my mess. I got to clean up my workbench a little bit. Cigar go in just like that. Get it out. Just knock it. But that's the cigar that I'm using. Is a Perdomo Havana. Put it in. Well. Kind of put it in with the Perdomo up top. Give it a little squeezy squeeze. And then just line up your, your cuts. Now you got your little good little display box. And um, yeah guys, these you can make these out of any type of wood, but I would stay away from, you know, pressure treated stuff, of course. Uh, what would be good would be uh, Spanish cedar would be good. Sorry guys for the movement. Uh, what would be good would be Spanish cedar. That way you'll have, um, you know, a little Spanish cedar. You could put you a, um, if you had a little bit thicker wood, you could, you could uh, inlay you a piece of, um, Plexi, plexiglass over it. Um, build it, like I said, out of any type of wood. I just made it out of some, um, the wood pile stuff that I showed you earlier. And I stained it with um, special walnut. And I cleared it with um, Verithane 
clear. You, and you can spray it on, uh, brush it on, however you need. Um, but yeah, like I said, you can play around with different stains. There's one. Another one that I built, that I made, of course. Let me get the cigar out of the other one. Of course, your cigar would go in there. Like I said, you line up your your um, your band where it's perfectly straight. Well, it don't have to be perfectly straight. But then you just walk it up. I've cut them a little bit extra wide to be able to to put it in. So that's what it is. All right, guys, we're back. As you see, we seen in the last clip. We got the boxes put together. I just put some rubber bands around it to glue it, to hold it while the glue dries. But this is, that's it guys. And like I said, it's, um, you know, you can make them as fancy as you want. You know, it showed you with the cigar in it. Um, so I guess we're going to end the video on part one right there. Um, so if you found it interesting, guys, hit the like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel. Um, I'm also on uh, Instagram. Um, I have a Patreon account. All that will be linked in the description. My email will be linked in the description or in the description. Um, also on Facebook. Um, but other than that, guys, I do appreciate you watching. Um, do appreciate you watching. And remember, Jesus loves you.